Okay, so this is Hugo Simon, and I am Victor. With Victor, give me a uh, man. Give me a flake man. Give me a bone dog. Everything. Well, uh, name all your channels. Action Please. teacher, uh, Victor in the world. Give me a man. Give me a flake man. Uh, give me a bone dog, um, and Japanese for morons. That's it. I, I think there's one or two I'm missing, but yeah. <laughs> oh, Japanese food channel. I don't know. I haven't used that in a while. But. It's like a guy who has so many children he can't remember all their names. <laughs> so I, yes. I, one is abandoned now. But so I tell you, we don't get together very often. No. We, do, we do a lot of virtual shows. Yes. But uh, because of the wonderful YouTube Hanami that Tikio Sam did an awesome job on, yeah. we are together here in Tokyo in the YouTube space, and we thought, what better topic? Since this is we're an getting amazing together, space. Yes. We're going to talk today about state of the tube, state of YouTube, the community. Um, the technology, the site, what's going on with the technology, yeah, things are changing. Take, uh, all the new stuff. So things uh, have really changed, you know, since we started six years ago. Yeah. Oh, it's um, oh, that was so hang around. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. That. Uh, okay. Do it Well, no, no, that's all right. Oh. That, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 we can do the titles on there. <laughs> okay. That's, yeah. No, actually, pretty awkward is good actually for me. Uh, like, no, it's that's, fine. Yeah, so we'll just keep. No, no problem. I'm not even wearing shoes. I, and look at this guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, that's I'm, how YouTube has changed. In the I, old days, you had to wear shoes. You had to wear shoes to come into the space. It was like well, a rule. It was let's like, see. Uh, you try to get into the space, and they would say, not with those shoes, man. Nope. And, and now I'm not even wearing shoes. You, you had see? to have uh, the there shoes that David J. Like Simpson wore when he killed his wife. Yes, whatever those shoes were. <laughs> I don't remember, but <laughs> they're very, very, very expensive Italian shoes. That's all you have to know. But yeah, um, I'm sure someone knows what kind of shoes those are, and they will put them in the comments. I'm glad you mentioned. That. <laughs> <laughs> so YouTube has really changed. Um, in the old so days, let's say, let's let's go back. We gotta go, go back, back in town. Back in back in town. Back in time. Back, back in time. time. Oh my God. <laughs> gotta get that back alcohol. In town. That alcohol is still uh, residual in my brain, flowing through my veins here. That's right. That's uh, flushing, flushing in with the good, out with the bad. So tell us about the tech, the, the specs. And when the YouTube first came out, no one was shooting HD. All we had, we had the 460. What? No, right? it wasn't 460. Oh, what well, we would give for first out. It's you. It, it, oh, I just hit the mic. It was uh, it was. You're talking about 480. 480. I'm sorry. What we right. would have given for 480 back in the day. Oh, what was it originally? 360. What's the original was 240. 240. The first videos ever posted were 240 and 360, I think. I mean, but okay. certainly no more than 360. And in the old days, mm -hmm. so YouTube used to have, what, a 10 minute limit of yes, videos? Yes. And a, a quality limit of 360. And they were all low bit rate. So they were really terrible, terrible uh, quality. I think if you tried looking at some of those, a lot of them don't even work anymore. Yeah. Like something screwed up with some of the old videos. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, the quality was shit. It was, it was shit, but, and it was always amazing to me because I remember when I looked at online video and I had like home videos and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, that the I thought, where would I put my video? And Google Google Video, mm -hmm. which existed as a separate yeah. site. You guys remember Google Video? Yeah. Google Video it failed. It, it this was before destroyed. YouTube was bought. Yeah. Before YouTube was bought, YouTube was its own company, of course, a startup. Mm -hmm. So on the one hand, you had you had YouTube, which mm -hmm. had this fixed low resolution, right. crap, time limit, everything. Yep, and Google sorry. Video, no time limit. Um, no quality limit, uh, and you could scale the video in and out. It was actually mu a much better site for putting your videos on, but it lost to YouTube. Why did it lose to Pop Quiz? The audience. Yeah, yeah because there were, simple there, were, audience. there were no comments on it. People actually still say that YouTube's actual, um, what, what's it called, coding is terrible. Yeah. I don't know if that's true anymore, if they completely fixed it, but well, I guess the original the, coding I hear was terrible, comparatively, well, and I guess Google was better. But fact is, and you could say this has been an ongoing problem for YouTube. In a way, it's symptomatic of everything that's kind of followed. Google's always struggled a bit with social, right? You mm. know, the reason YouTube beat Google, Google was a technically better site for video. Yes. But it lost because it didn't have any social. There and no, commu no well, community. Well, there was no yeah. community. I mean, it, was, it wasn't even a place you could leave yeah, a comment or yeah. anything like that. Exactly. It was just a personal, it was a Dropbox for file, for video files, whereas right. YouTube had crap video. But it was a fantastic, it was primarily a social site right. that had crap video on it. Yep. And, 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 and let's face it, people pop, were pop very quiz, loose with pop quiz for you. uploading on it. Yeah. What's the first video ever uploaded to YouTube? It's the visit to the zoo. Yeah, or yeah, yeah okay. the, elephant. Yes, the elephant. The elephant video, yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess that's, that's where it started. One. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, okay, so from there, we, of course, we jumped to HD. Everyone knows that by now. And then we jumped well, to... Well, actually, <laughs> obviously, but technically, yeah. yeah technically, well, well we, we don't have to go through every stage, but of course, now we've got but, HD. But I think it was pretty significant. It didn't go to HD until Google bought it. Uh, so, okay. you know, it, okay, was, good so point. it was a site for, what, three years on its mm -hmm. own, and then about 2009, 2010, right. Google mm -hmm. bought it. That right. was a major change. Yes. And the moment they bought it, they got sued for all of the uh, copyright violating Bi content Bi on it. Biocom especially. And when, Biocom until then, until 2009, mm -hmm. I was a watcher, mm -hmm. and I would only watch TV shows and stuff on YouTube. I, didn't I watch only watch music videos, yeah. And when all that stuff got 
taken down yeah. because of the lawsuit, all of a sudden there was this void of content, and that's where I first discovered other people like you oh. making content. I, I, there, were, there were people who were making content from the beginning, but mm -hmm. you were competing against The Daily Show. And <laughs> well, no, I wouldn't say it's any competition, I think. No, but, but, <laughs> but the point was, I never even thought there was any point making video. I didn't, right, I didn't no, I see, get see, it see. until that content was taken well, down. Well, I only made videos because I was looking at other people making videos and talking to them. It would be, in, in, in the old days, it was like, it was just almost like a telephone, like I'm gonna send this guy a message. Actually, Tokyo Kuni, he called it a, what is it, a CV radio community. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little bit like that, yeah. like people with their handle names, and it's like, you know, Smokey Smokey, Chica, right. Right, Kevin Smokey, and, and, and all that kind of thing. But right. no, it, 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 there was a community like that. But for guys like me, I think for the majority of YouTube mm. users, we. We could see. Everyone knew that there were people who posted personal videos and stuff on there, but right. most people. But were most just people watching. thought it was more like your kids. This is my kids, or playing right. soccer, or whatever. Right? right. So that part, I don't think. Actually, I think Viacom did us a huge <laughs> favor by suing YouTube uh, and Google mm. because it allowed the user-generated content to stand out more, just for oh, that okay. time. And that's where I discovered. That's where I came in. Mm. But you actually, when did you start making videos? I guess 2006. But my first. What the hell's that? Is that something? It's still recording here. What was that what beeping? Was that noise? Oh, you know, it might have been. Ah, it was probably this timing out. It was on standby mode. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Technology. Technology. We can't. I, We're slaves. Let's just go back. Let's just go back to the 2000s where everything was simpler and stuff didn't make random. I never thought about. Noise. I never thought about Viacom doing us a oh, favor that way. But it, it, it's that's what hmm. prompted me to come in in 2009. But okay. you were already on there. So I got a question for you. Okay. you. What year did you start? I think it was 2006, in 2005, 2006. I made my first channel. So YouTube started. So you right after YouTube started. Yeah, actually. but in that, in I start, my first things were just language learning. I was teaching English to my students, and I was actually just using YouTube as a place to put my lessons to show in the classroom. Okay. Because well, it was just, it was just easy, you know, convenient. So, so when did you first become aware of YouTube as a as a community or actually making videos for I other I guess YouTubers when to watch? I posted those videos. The, my first videos were I, I didn't even show my face. It was just my voice with words on the screen. Oh, you were one of those guys. Yeah. You, you were one of those behind the first three or four hey, videos everybody. were like that. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at this. You're one of those guys. No, I was I was just showed the screen. It was just yeah. words on yeah. the screen. Oh wow. I was just editing language. I was just teaching language. Do you still have your first video? Oh yeah, like they're that? still up there. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, on the first language videos, and the, the first time I ever actually put my face on screen. So that was give me a break. That was no, that was Action Teacher. Action Teacher. Yeah. Okay. That was so your first channel was Action I Teacher. I think I think yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my first channel. I think that's 2005 in November. I opened up that. Wow. And then I think the first time I actually put my face on screen was a, a, a YouTube video to the Boring Dispatcher, who's, who's since passed away. You might remember him. Ah, yeah, I do remember him. Roger. Yeah. And he was, a, he was a tow truck um, dispatcher. So he'd be up all night. So we, we would actually be awake at the same time, right? Yeah. yeah. He's in California. And he would make videos that were really, really popular, again, about everybody yeah. in those days. And he would just stay up all night, you know, at work. You but know? That, he was all about community people. And then yeah. He, there yeah. Was a, the it was all people community. Around him was who was talking about each other. Yeah. So you, want, you got in on that conversation. Yeah, so I wanted to talk to him, and I, so I made a video. He said, you can't talk. There was another guy there named Crossmack who was really big, and he would talk about marijuana, and he liked marijuana. <laughs> and he said, don't criticize me for smoking marijuana unless you've, unless you've smoked marijuana. Then you can't talk about it. So it, was, it became a big joke, and he, said, he would talk about it. He said, you don't talk to me about donuts unless you eat the donut. <laughs> so I made a video of myself eating a donut. You don't talk to me about the hanami unless you <laughs> run the hanami. <laughs> <laughs> so I made a video of me just eating a donut, saying, can I talk to you now? And that was it. And then he was like, yes, what do you, what, what do you want to talk about? Yeah. And he left a comment for me in those days, like, oh, my God, he left a comment, and he subscribed to me. I was so high, you know. In those days, there was a wine cone. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So he was making videos about taking make marijuana, and when you, he left the comment back to you, you uh, became high? I became high with videos? glee and happy. No, no, Crossmac made videos and Boring Dispatcher parodied Crossmac, replaced I Hanami with, I mean, re replaced, <laughs> replaced marijuana with a donut. <laughs> replaced marijuana, sorry, the donut. Let's just be, yeah, okay, I get it. And then I, talked, then I talked to him. Right. And then I got involved. Then I started making videos about Crossmac as well. But by the time I started in 2009 and I started, I started noticing for the first mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm these crazy people who are making videos. I wasn't making Japan videos at all yet. No. Yeah. So I, I, I noticed you yeah. in that community of people and, yeah. I, and I was kind of trying to find what was interesting and, and, and you were one of the names that came mm. up. But I always thought you were one of the American you know, guys making videos back and forth and it never, I, it took me a, a year 
or two before, to making videos before I even realized that you were even in Japan. I was right, like, oh, right. he's in Japan. I think uh, that got big when Emily maybe appeared. Uh, Apple Milk. Maybe you found me because of her, maybe. Apple or, Milk. Yeah, Apple Milk, 1988. 1988. Right. She made a video introducing herself in Japanese. She, she did a couple of her, her videos. Well, she was one of those people. Yeah. What I love about the early days is that the people who were most people, like me, try. Uh, some don't try, but some do try. But no matter how hard we try, mm. you know, we're, 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 the best we can be is above average and trying our best. <laughs> but, That's true. But there are some people like Emily who right. don't try, but they just well, get it. They can just be good right I, away. I wouldn't, it's not fair to say they don't try. It's well, just that they just... It, come, it comes naturally. Yes. They're a natural. Much more natural. They, they're a, and she does try. Sorry. She did, but... But she figured out a lot of things that took me a lot of mm. time to figure out. Mm. She just made from her first videos, and it was like... Yeah, she did have a knack for it, yeah. Yeah. And she it's was amazing she stopped. Yeah. But well, yeah, but, you know, it's a different thing for girls as well doing YouTube. You know, it's a... Uh, a lot of different pressures. A lot of different pressures. But okay, okay. So, I think... In so, the that's, how, that's, how, that's how my... I think Japan helped me explode. Now, I wouldn't say explode is the right word, but my channel got bigger because of that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So, yeah. So, in terms of the timeline, mm -hmm. founded, you started making videos... First, just, just and frankly, YouTube never really did anything technical until Google came over and right, then okay. they started because they were the technical guys right. who came in. Right. And then the lawsuit happened, and I think that was an unwittingly. That's what brought me and a lot of people from the second or third mm -hmm. wave, or whatever you call it. Mm. That's what brought me in. I would say it was like end of first wave or second wave, maybe. Yeah, you and the people who were doing it even when Daily Show was all over YouTube. Right. And me, I, Emily, took Tokyo Kuni. Um, there was right. an, a couple. Uh, Sam, thirty-three. Sam, thirty-two. Sammy. Sammy. Yeah. yeah. Sammy. So there, were, there was a really small number. Of, you know, Roger Swan. There was. Oh yeah, there Roger Swan. He came after that, I think. Yeah, right. Eric Six was on there as well, I think, early on. But there, were, there was a small people who were in a, a, the original community. But then Google came on, and then there was a bit of a. Uh, it did build a momentum over time. Mm. I think that kind of helped as well. But when Google came in, so Google started changing the site. It right. really didn't change until Google came on. And one of the things was they added HD. They, mm -hmm. they, they, they added the, the no time limit. They started the partnership program where right. they allowed you to have autoplay and a banner that oh, you yeah. could design. Oh, so, yeah. So partners could get autoplay Partners and banner. could get a banner. We could put, uh, what is it? And you had to apply for partnership, and it was kind of a big deal if you got it. And it was like... I got turned down my first two times. <laughs> they weren't offering, they only offered one person in Japan, or two or two, very few people. And the funny Japan. thing about that time as well is when we had these YouTube gatherings, and there would always be a couple of representatives of YouTube there, and they were like uh. rock stars because... Everyone, everyone wanted was to kiss in their butt. Everyone <laughs> wanted to be friends. Is that okay to say? <laughs> because well, the, because the other thing, the other thing about those days were the banner, the autoplay. Yeah. I mean, you didn't well, that was that wasn't Google. Google. That was YouTube. Yeah, in those days, right? Well, no, that was Google. I came in after Google. So oh, okay. It was, but no, actually, no. That was that was YouTube. That was Google YouTube. Okay. But the um, the perks were you didn't even get money yet, right? This was before money. They mm. were just giving autoplay. It was about maximizing plays right. by giving someone use of your autoplay. Like Victor would. Allow me if he liked my video. Yeah, he yeah. put my video on his autoplay and give me a boost in views. Yeah. You could do that. Um, but in a way, it was nicer because there wasn't the money in it. But even then, but the other, the, the major power, the, the two powers that those Google people wielded, one was, was the a partnership. Partnership. And, and the and other was, oh, was the front page. Was the feature, the front page. The front YouTube page, had yeah. a front page for every country, which would feature a video yep. selected by someone at YouTube. To feature but they did have guest editors, and I was lucky enough to be a guest editor once. Yeah, and I think it was thanks to a guest editor that wasn't you, but I think I know who, who it was. Uh, I, I say no as well. I think it was Eric Surf Six. I think recommended oh. my video that got me a huge boost. Oh, really? That got, really got me started. You had a video in the beginning that had a, that went pretty viral. It was, yeah. um, it was about how to, learn, how to English. learn English. Yeah, yeah. Um, based in on Japanese. how I learned speaking in Japanese, based on how I learned right, Japanese right. about how to make English. Um, and that, 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 that made my channel big. That's what gave me my start. I mean, I was very happy with 100 subscribers before that, but it got big after, after that, that thing. But even then, so it was still in those days, though, it started out as a social community yep. that got all these cool technical features when, when Google came and they turbocharged the technical side of it. Yep, still doing it. But it was still a very much a social site and mm -hmm. it was still all about trying to maximize how many views you get and how many subscribers you get. The, the channel rankings were ranked yeah, by the yeah, number yeah. of subscribers. You could actually look for... And look for people like that. Who's top subscribed in every country? And everyone would look at, uh, oh, Cooney's number two now. He went down. You know, that was like a big controversy. Now oh, they really? don't even put the... Who was number one? Emily? Well, I think there was a time when Japanese started to catch up. But, oh, okay. and, you know, in the early days, how right, right, right. every channel would have like a little flag next to it of the ranking oh, right. that they were. Oh, right. And that was a I huge motivation. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like in the top 100 YouTube channels in Japan because there weren't that many channels. <laughs> but I was always like, uh, I, I used to be next to Sakura, Sakura Soul TV, the right wing um, oh, channel. Oh, really? And we were always neck and neck. And I was always like, well, I hope they either do really well and get away from me Are they or doing I well? get away from them. They're still doing pretty good. <laughs> They're still in the news. Oh, really? Um, 
But uh, yeah, oh, you're you, pretty big now, right? But you always became very aware of the other YouTubers mm, because of the, because the ranking. Right. I was also close to Jet Daisuke TV, who's of course huge. Right. But yeah. so when we get together at these get at these get-togethers, it was always like you knew everybody because you had this the kind ranking. of competitive and com community, and there was all these. And I still think that the social formula of the original YouTube was fantastic. Mm. Mm. But um, well, what's what's different now? So well, but the ranking the ranking's gone. Well, so so. In the last three years, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. maybe four years, I think Google Plus, when Google Plus came out and Google decided that they were going to totally re-engineer the social. Oh, and they forced everybody on. Well, they were, they were, so what have been the changes in the last few years with Google? The first thing is that I think they really, first of all, they took away the front page, the feature. Right. They took away all that stuff and they, and they really boosted the quality. Well, and, did they take it away completely? I mean, if you go to YouTube, you still get recommended videos. But Yeah, but those are based on algorithms for you personally. Okay. They're, they're not for everybody. So, that, you know, so that, again, they've tried to use algorithms and mm. computation and stuff like that to make it more... They d and also, that's not decided by a person anymore, right? That used to be... The, those, those YouTube oh. editors used to watch every single video mm -hmm. and they would have to censor them, which I hear is a very traumatic thing to do sometimes. Um, and they would pick and choose who, who gets to be popular to some extent. And they would, I don't think they ever popular. censored any videos, though. Well, they yeah. would just not show them. No, 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 no. If you talk with anyone who works at YouTube about how traumatic it is watching what people upload and deciding what oh, you mean, has to be taken but down. it's a yes or a no. It's not a. It's, they're not. They're not actually so. cutting. When I, when I say video. censor, I mean censor okay, as yeah. in like you know, right, 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 it's right, a murder right, video yeah. on or something oh, yeah, like that. But you know, those people have to watch. You know, the yeah. worst of humanity. But um, you know, they out. They, they um, what, what are they called? Not they outsource it. They the outsource, outsource it, right? people need counseling, and they won't yeah. pay for the counseling or the outsource. Yeah, no, there's a there's a really interesting article about it I found on um, Umano. 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 It's an app that you can get about. It just shows you all the articles. Anyway, they, they read blogs, but the, but people are traumatized. There's actually a word for it now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all the all the but, crap they have to see, like. But in the old days, really bad stuff. Yeah, the guys who would come to our parties would have to watch all of those videos. They they are so. Oh, them. you're right. And someone they, they I did meet about. someone, and they were yeah, it was yeah, terrible. Yeah, it kind <laughs> of changes how you look at humanity from what I hear. It's not. It sounds like a fun job, and you are kind of a rock star, but it, it's a rough job. But they would watch everybody. They knew everybody. And you see, there's some really sick people out there. I oh, gotta yeah. tell you, but, upload stuff that. Oof. But Google came in, and Google being Google took mm -hmm. took all of that out. No human has to watch every single video, at least for the purposes of. You know, uh, like in the old days, anyway, of, of, of watching whatever. There's a lot mm. of automation for the top page, for the feature mm. page, and mm -hmm. everything like that. So they kind of took that out. So the YouTube people, you can't go and be nice to a YouTube person, and your channel will get boosted. Right. Oh, the old days that would happen. Yeah. Um, but in the old days, that would absolutely happen. Thank you, old old YouTubers. Thank you, old guys. <laughs> <laughs> old guys who are <laughs> who no nice. longer working. We it appreciate was it. While it lasted. That's right. That's all gone now. Um, although there are still people who do write them letters like, why won't you support my channel? Uh, and and I, I know that. I talk to them and they're like, there's a few people who can't stop themselves from doing that. Yes. You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> there are people who complain. There are people who just always complain to Google that they don't support the little guy when they're actually quite big. Um, <laughs> but there, well, there's, I mean, can we talk about this part of, well, can we talk not, about anything? Let's, about I the support part? deep into that part. The support part we can get. Well, there, there is something that, it, it is un. un I think, I'm pretty sure, actually I don't know this for a fact, but I'm pretty sure YouTube in Japan pretty much has made it their mission to promote the natives. Oh, of course. Right? Of course. Yes. Well, but the thing is, they've gone about it, they've changed the whole way of going about mm -hmm. it. I mean, of course, even from the ori origin, from the first plan, mm -hmm. well, this is the other thing in Japan, until like two or three years ago, mm -hmm. um, YouTube didn't really market itself very well in Japan, and it was a far, far number two, way behind right. Nico Nico Dogo. Right, There was another site here that... The and foreigners are not much on. And Japanese but. would show their faces on Nico Nico Doga, but they would never show their faces on YouTube. They would make text and, uh, and automated voice videos and stuff like that. But the number of Japanese who would actually put their faces on a video on YouTube. Very, very you rare. You could count Very them. few. You could count very them. few, yeah. And they were all automatically big. But again, a lot They were of like unicorns, right? <laughs> they were like unicorns. And, and, and or the, gay, the, gay Eskimos. Gay yeah. Eskimos. <laughs> and the women who did it, you know, like they would get a lot of trouble you know it was really tough to actually you know, stick yourself who, out there who were some of the first that ones, japanese girl Kodorich. that japanese girl yeah Kodorich. Kodorich. she's still around she must be she's still around i've seen yeah. her on twitter she's not even not on youtube oh really so much but yeah there were a few in the beginning who were big oh. there's still quite a few now though but no, what's no, changed many, in the yeah. last few years what's changed the, what's what's changed is that now because everything google took all the personal stuff out they put everything on algorithms right um they emphasized they, they basically the strategy, what they've done is, is that they've tried to make themselves look less like a, a community of people making uh, unpalatable personal opinion videos on webcams. And they've, <laughs> they're basically trying to remove all the crazies. Well, they're, they're ranting into the camera. Not remove them, but... They're not trying to remove them, but honestly speaking, they're, they're, they're using the algorithms and everything else to try to de-emphasize that content. Mm. 
and to lift up the quality that they can present, honestly speaking, to TV advertisers right. to persuade them to come over and put their ads on YouTube. Because the advertising market is amazing. Yeah. So, so basically, they're trying and the they're trying to persuade this studios and professional content mm. and people who are on TV and other formats to come onto YouTube and feel comfortable that they can present with all the control and quality and mm. all the benefits of online video right. on YouTube and that they can come into the web age and convince advertisers to come on with it. And so in order to do that, they started the Next Up program. Yep. Uh, that was maybe the one thing where they do actually still select people. That's like yeah. 10 people that they selected. They selected they, 10, 11, I think it was 11, maybe 11. One foreigner of that group. Yep. The rest were Japanese, but they were all, they were all pretty good. Unfortunately, some of those stopped making videos, so it's, it, and that's not really YouTube's fault. It's I'm just glad some of them, well, actually, some of them still make videos even though I wish they wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying who they are. I'm not saying <laughs> they're, they're can, all... If you think you know, buy it in the comments. No, but unfortunately, you can't see the future, so you never know if, if that money's really going to help someone. Well, uh, but the idea keep, is, keep is that they, they, they gave people a bunch of training on how to make professional quality videos. I think the original next up was twenty thousand. I think twenty thousand dollars plus two weeks training. Other was ten thousand. I think the first 10. year was twenty. The second year was ten. I think. Anyways, a lot of money, right? More than you need. <laughs> More than you need for a computer. Yeah. So you could have bought a great computer, Just to a to great using camera. Your webcam. Yeah. I know. Well, that's a, that's what we did. did, did how did you first shoot your, your videos? Your web camera. Web camera, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's all you needed. In the old days, that was enough. Yeah. Well, they were they were they were crap videos, but, but yes. Yeah. Well, quality wise, yeah. But 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 they were good enough. I mean, they competed with everyone everyone else. You know, yeah. At yeah. Time. So now now you now you there is no limit to how much we can spend, right? Yeah. The camera we're using right now. Um. It's probably way out of my price. This is like a billion dollars. Seriously, it's like it's amazing. They've got and a we, space shuttle mounted on the back. You would think we'd look better, camera. right? Sorry, but that camera's under there. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I actually it does reduce the. I, we've, there's a setting on this to make us look like unshaved homeless people, which that's is what a, we've got that on right now. I think. Yeah, that's a, I, I believe that's the feature we're using at the moment. But it now, but the, when it comes to technology, you now you have cordless, you know, cordless mics you can use, boom mics. Uh, yeah. Lighting, of course, everywhere. Why do they right? call them boom mics? I was like, if you have a mic. The last thing that you'd want is, is it to go boom. Boom. I don't know. It's the shape? It's boom. Boom. I don't know. What do they call boom? I like boom. But, um, well, because they pick up, they make, they, they, they raise your voice until it's a boom from yeah. far away. I don't know. Yeah. I yeah. guess that's it. But yeah, I mean, now when it comes to equipment, and now, I mean, this is a new age. First I had the 3D, yeah. right? And now we got these things, which are just break, breaking into the market, which are going to be spherical videos. And spherical these, these videos. are the way that, I mean, they're gearing up now for, for um, VR videos, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for virtual videos with headsets and stuff like that. And this is the kind of thing that you're going to be able to shoot those on. So I'll wear this on my head and walk around, right? And do a Whatever rocks time. your boat. But yeah, it shoots everything all around. And I'm actually shooting some videos. In fact, that reminds me. I will uh, do a couple in the middle of this conversation. But yeah, so you can get an idea. You can see, you can not, not just look at what we want you to see, which is us on the sofa looking natural and very organized, but you can see all of our crap spread out on the side yeah. over there. You can see the view out the window. You can see I'd a like pair of white socks over there. I don't know what. A pair of white socks, which I'm not wearing anymore. <laughs> but um, you can see all that, all out there. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. So this is this is, I believe, once the quality improves a little bit, that's going to be lot. the future for me. The quality is crap. This is actually like the original YouTube. It's not crap, the crap. It's just you know, it, it, it's like the original YouTube. It's like the original YouTube. It's like the elephant video. Um, right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but it's going to get better. But in, in the future, that's going to it's going to it's going to change. I think this is a game changer. Yeah. But that's the, so that's the thing, I mean, with the technology stuff, the other thing, I mean, of course, is that uh, everyone used to be on comparing, first of all, you had the Zacties, and you know, when we got... Oh, the, yeah, everyone. Everyone's into When the we Zacties. first met, we, we and Eleven Colors, we all got together with the Zacties. Which were like toy cameras, like guns. frankly. They yeah. were toy cameras, but they were portable. And, yeah, and waterproof. Up, and waterproof, and they were well, good action was. type mm -hmm. thing. They, they, they were the action cameras before yeah. the action cameras. And then, I think there was a really... Was that Sanyo? Yes, Sanyo, which we're, got we're bought up by Panasonic. Panasonic, exactly. Yeah. But um, then what was, and then people started getting the HD. Well, when HD came out, uh, it was the camcorders that were doing that. People bought yep. camcorders, mm -hmm. and that seems natural. But then all of a sudden, we're all getting camcorders and stuff. And then I noticed a couple of videos when they started enabling video on DSLRs. Yes. And they blew and my mind. And they're beautiful. And I was like, oh my really god, that is pretty. better than a TV broadcast yes. camera. And I went. And, and they got actually one. shoot. They actually shoot quite a few TV shows with those. Yeah. Just a Canon, uh, Canon T2i. Yeah, yeah. So we all got DSLRs mm -hmm. pretty much, and yep. that's when everyone who got their desktop packages got those. And I think most people are still actually own DSLRs. That's what this is. Yeah. Um, well, this, well, this is actually this is a C100. Oh, actually, is that it's a? It's a cinema. It's a cinema. It's a C100. It's a C100 yeah. cinema camera. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cinema Canon. camera. That's it. Yeah. But, uh, but it's a DSLR kind mm. of shape. But um, yeah, and at the same time, and so everyone looks like it's just getting more and more DSLR. But you, good point. YouTube at that, at that time, they knew that they had to improve the quality, so they picked 
500 people around the world yep. and sent them $1,000 each. Yeah. I said, buy a better camera. <laughs> yeah. No, it was to, to get whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. So I got, I got, a, better, I got a better camera. Yeah. That Japanese girl got a better camera. Ken, Ken Tanaka got a better camera. A lot of people got more equipment, got better equipment. And that does, that did improve my videos. And I still have that camera. I still use it. And the truth is, is well, and they selected who were they giving it to, and they showed good discretion with that because they didn't give me the actual money. But they, they, I think they probably did a, a they used the algorithm to mm -hmm. do a check of the psychological profiles of the people. So they realized if they gave money to people like Victor and made him go out and buy a camera, I would, people like me would see that and instantly become so consumed with jealousy well, you had and to rage buy a, you had to buy a camera. that I would have no choice but to improve my own quality by <laughs> buying the same camera. So they gave me the money to force him to spend more money. They realized that there would be like a hundred people like me that just out of pure jealousy and anger would buy a camera just like his. And that's what I did. Um, and I got a better camera than you. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked. So it worked. YouTube is crafty. YouTube Sneaky. manipulated us with their algorithms. Um, and that's actually that's actually a 4K. You got a 4K. I got a no no well no I don't have a 4K. Oh, not, okay, uh, but that's the next step. That's the next step. But, but I, I was talking to some YouTube staff about this, uh, and they said that they think 4K is right now overkill. Still not necessary. Yeah yeah because you can't actually stream 4K video. I mean mm. even even on a bro you know broadband you can't really stream. Uh, 4K at all. What do you mean you can't stream 4K? It, it, it's, it's too much video, it's too much data to take. You have to buffer it all up before you can watch it. Right, okay. Uh, right. So that's the future. Yeah. Um, there probably are some people who can stream it though. Oh yeah, well if, like you say, if you buffer it up you can watch mm. it. But to actually watch it in real time in 4K, that's coming. Mm. But you need, they'll need to improve the broadcast mm. technology. Oh come on, don't, don't beep that stuff. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Sorry. That's pretty loud beep. That's a loud beep. It's, it's saying, I can't So that's the future. Anymore. So the future will be 4K. It will prob probably be these 360 cameras in 4K. Yeah. Well, we're talking about maybe two, three years down the road, maybe. What do you think? Um, well, so... Before they're affordable. 4K is everywhere now. Even, yeah. even GoPro yeah. and stuff well, like that. 4K is almost aff affordable now. You can get the Panasonic the GM4, is it? GM uh, GH4. GH4? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of 4K cameras out there. For something like this, for the 3D technology, uh, for, the, for the spherical cameras, um, that's interesting. They actually need to be on. Oh, you know what? I think the battery's gone on this. These things actually need to be. Uh, so that's probably out of battery. We're having technical problems. Right? That's okay. That's okay. I shot some of these earlier, actually. Mm. They actually need to be like 8K because you're only looking at like one eighth of the whole video at any given time. Mm -hmm. It shoots, you know, everything all around. So right. you, you're looking like this. Mm -hmm. So it needs to be like 8K, and it needs to have the memory oh. for the 8K for oh. it to be. Uh, not 4K, but 8K. I hear Sony's working on a 9K. Is that, po is that possible? Uh, anything's possible. I mean, it's Next always up. going up. But basically, yeah, once they can get 4K into a little thing like this, um, then it's going to be, mm. these things are going to take off. And when people get the Oculus Rift headsets later this mm. year, what it really means is that for something like, for example, um, the Victor's walking around in Nagoya. Right. Um, I do a lot of walking around videos. checking out his nose hair like we all do, uh, when we watch his videos at the moment, yeah. you're actually going to be able to check his nose hair, but also look around and see what he can yeah. look around and see. Yeah. You're actually going to be carried, it's like you'll be carried around on his shoulders. Yeah. So it's going to be and great for that. And it's going to be better than that, actually, because you, none of us have four, you know, we're not, we don't have spider heads, we don't have eight eyeballs, but yeah, you're gonna be this able will enable you to see anything you want. Uh, so yeah. it means for, for travel videos, it's mm -hmm. going to be awesome. For like action videos, like surfing or skydiving, mm -hmm. you're going to actually be able to live that experience. And I hate to tell you this, but you know what? It's, uh, and I'm not joking with this, it's going to revolutionize porn. And the porn industry has been known to, to, pr to but you push, know? The, push the, uh, the, the, let's the go technology, there. right? Let's, let's go Be there. Beta and VHS. Let's go there though, because um, I don't know. I, they've already had, I mean, they've had virtual reality mm -hmm. porn for a while now. I've never seen it. I'm going to say that. I've heard I've of it. I've seen that. I've mm -hmm. heard of it. I've read accounts of it. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, they actually get like virtual, well, I guess virtual, if, maybe if they could do a first person thing. Mm -hmm. But even then, I've heard first person can be very discombobulating. <laughs> no, but no, what, what I, I'm talking about I though is that, get it for that if, actually. if the porn industry supports a format or a technology, for some reason of that course, industry, gives it a that, boost. yeah, gives it a major boost. Web okay. streaming video, right. VHS, yeah, of course. But, well, yeah, I, I mean, I think the great thing about, I think what's going to mm. make the Oculus and these things take off is going to be not just the games, that's what everyone's excited about, oh, but it's going to be the YouTube That videos. might be the new thing. Maybe, ga maybe gaming is going to no, be the no, new. No, 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 because they've had, they've had uh, virtual headsets with Virtual Boy. You know Virtual no, Boy? No, no, I'm saying whatever gaming supports will be, will, will boost the technology more than porn. Maybe now. Well, Game is huge now. Virtual right? reality gaming's been around since the 90s, though, and it's never taken off. It's always failed. Oh, okay. Really? It's always failed. 
Nintendo used to have back in the Game Boy, back in the nineties, mm. Game Boy, uh, Nintendo. Yeah, Game Boy. Yeah. Had, a, My had, wife's a headset, one. had a headset with virtual with virtual reality headset with games on it. Really? Called virtual Boy. You've never heard of this? No. It, it bombs. It was terrible. Really? You got to put this in the video. You got to put a little clip or something. It's on. Well, uh, you can anyone can look it up. It's called Virtual Boy. And okay, Virtual Boy. Uh, it sounds familiar, yeah. Yeah, and it was a, it was a massive bomb, and everyone was saying, "This is the future. Three D gaming is here." And why did it bomb? Um, because the games were kind of crap. Because the the headset had to be had have its own tripod. It was so heavy, and you had to be on a table and you had to push your face against it. Oh, really? Um, and it just wasn't the, the 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 gaming experience wasn't good enough to make up for the for the limitations. Right. So everyone keeps saying, and this happened a few times. Oh, it's finally here now. Now the games are good enough. Mm. But what's going to make it really take off? Actually, what's going to make Oculus Rift take off is not going to be the games. I think the games are going to be. There's always going to be people who will buy it for the games. Mm -hmm. What's going to make it take off is going to be the other stuff that it can do, which will be watching videos mm -hmm. in this format. You right. Know, with, with a this. 360 format. 360 format. It's going to be having a virtu uh, virtualized conversation, skyping, no, and all that. No, 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 no. no. It's going to have a virtual. It's going to give you a virtualized studio environment. So you're going to be able to sit in a chair mm -hmm. and be in a virtual room with virtual monitors. So for example, whatever I, in my office right now, I've got three monitors. Mm -hmm. I've got a keyboard. Really? I've got a mouse. I've got a, some, you know, the, the base. At your office at your, your YouTube uh, office? Sorry, at, at, at my home. My home okay. at, at home where I, do, where I do my YouTube stuff. You've got three monitors? I've got three monitors. But the thing is, if I've got a headset on, if I've got a VR headset on. You're not going to need that. I'm going to have eight monitors. And none of them, they're all going to be virtualized. Right. I'm going to be able to see eight videos. I, I'm going to, I can have a full virtual uh, control, professional control. I can have like a hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment virtually, right? Mm. Uh, you know, I, I, you, you it sounds almost like the Matrix. Yeah, well, yeah. it'll be a bit like that. You yeah. know, I mean, it'll be basically you, all the interfaces. Like on a smartphone, you can make any interface you want on a smartphone right now. Mm -hmm. You don't need a key. You know, like for example, I'm a DJ. I've got behind me on my videos, I've got more than $10,000 worth of equipment. Right. I've got a mixer, two, two Technics, CDJs. Now, a $20 app right. on, on, on iPhone does more than all of my equipment behind me. That's depressing. And that's depressing. <laughs> and that's on a touch screen interface, and that's cool. But you take that and add to it something which takes up all your vision and you can surround you. So you can sit anywhere and you can mm. be in any room that you want to be in with all the interfaces that you want. Actually, that's, that's something we completely cool. skipped over, the, uh, the smartphones. And how they've changed YouTubing as well. Yes, they have. How have they changed? Well, the, well, the 4K cameras now. And the Xperia has but, 4K cameras. And, well, yeah. And you but, can. And but you can, can't YouTube 4K videos on a, on a mobile right. phone. <laughs> yeah, but but you can take a, you can take a video anywhere you anywhere you want. Uh, people have, well, the YouTube, you, well, the Google people told us uh, when the YouTube app kind of came out and mm -hmm. the smartphones came mm -hmm. out, they came to everybody, and they said you have to make videos for mobile, because everyone ah, is yeah. watching videos on mobile, and we're like, okay. Well, that's interesting, but there's no ads on mobile, so you don't get any monetization from that. And well, you didn't. Now you do. Now you do. Yes. But but they were kind of saying they told everybody that the analytics is amazing. You guys all have to make mobile video, and we're like, right. well, what the hell does that mean? You know, videos that look good on a small screen. But it was hard to figure out, right? And they right. were telling us this, and it was really hard to see the benefit of it to us. But now it's become honestly, so yeah. it's the same as on a PC yeah. anyway. Yeah. No, but I but I could understand that because I did a couple of videos of like grasshoppers. I yeah. did a, a video of a grasshopper and and YouTube promoted it because it looked really good on screen because yeah. I was really up close to it. Yeah. But anyway, that's that's the other thing. It's that we have five minutes. So we haven't even talked about the community yet. We've talked for forty minutes about the history of YouTube and two dollars. <laughs> we haven't talked about the community. And we've well, got five minutes. Well, the com community I think is uh, finding community. more difficult. It's, it's, it's a little more difficult. State of the community. The What's state? the state of the community? We're at the you're at the Hanami yesterday. We saw well, the community. What, what what's your assessment? Of the uh, ragtag The community mob. is still there, of course. I personally, you know, since I, sorry, but I had the, you know, my wife had a baby two months ago. Sorry, my wife had a baby. No, but as it a, was very <laughs> inconvenient for you all. But I know as a result, well. I think that has kind of taken me out of circulation almost, completely. And then I get that happened to you when you had a baby. I, 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 I gotta be honest. I'm a you. You are, are still pumping videos out. Oh, you're not no, out yeah, of but, circulation. But I'm having trouble keeping up with other people. I don't oh, have time yeah. right now. Well, there's no question. I'm amazed that you can even make videos. Little, <laughs> you're, you're apologizing for not watching videos. Yeah, I'm apologizing for not watching videos. But I think that's well, that's where part of the community is. It's watching each other's videos, right? It is. Right. Like you've actually made eight videos in this in this uh, area, right? Uh, I made space. a bunch. Yeah, yeah. Right. I haven't seen any of them. <laughs> How dare you not watch my videos? <laughs> but, I mean, is that? I mean, the old days, I would I would know that already that, he, that they were out. You know. Oh, I'm gonna t I gotta check them out. I didn't, I didn't even know they existed until yesterday. Well, yeah. So I have no idea what other other people are doing. But that's that's oh, one of the. So, so the point being, you, you can't really feel like you talk about the community because you can't watch. Well, and yeah. You also, two months ago, you're still probably watching more than me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think what, what that's one of the important things to do when you're part of the community is watch other's videos, well, interact, 
you making should. video responses. Which, um, here's, a, here's a tricky part about that, this. I think it's really important to support each other yeah. by making video responses or, or linking to each other. They don't way, have right? video responses anymore. They took that I know, away. they took that away, but we can still do it. Yeah. You still do it. Like I, I shouted out your, three, your 360 video a couple weeks ago. You did indeed. Thank you. I, I gave it a shout. But it helps. It still helps. And it if anybody help. talks about me, it still helps people find out about each other that way. So that, that, that part, they, they can never take that away from us. So and it gotta, does exist. So yeah. be a bit controversial for a minute here. Um, a lot of, okay, money. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I changed the subject. It's okay. It has, it has no, money has, has kind of hurt money the community, I think, a little bit, in that a lot of people focus on that. Yeah. So you get videos that are, community videos honestly don't make as much money, I think. But do you feel, I mean, I think there's no question about this, but has Google, ru uh, ruined is a strong word, but, you know, the community thing, the, the changes YouTube, that they have made. YouTube to cannot YouTube. make money off com community. Well, yeah. So, but do you feel, well, which is fine, they don't have to, but do you feel like the changes to YouTube have uh, had a harmful effect on the community? Or do you think, well, it's definitely changed. Do you think the community is still there? I think is it coming back? Is, no, the is YouTube is there, it? of course, but I don't think YouTube has no interest in c promoting community. But it's almost like we're on. Um, I don't know about that, though. But it's, uh, it's, we're, we're a side effect. Of, side of, effect? Of, community is like a side effect of community. Of, we're almost like a parasite on the YouTube face. But we'll, we'll, you'll never get rid of us. We'll always be here. Because as long as humans are involved, We'll but be here but, they kick but us it, out. if you want to I look disagree. at Google as a Google's a company, what's the point? They want to make money, right? But they want to make money. They want people who create, who make videos that other people watch. They don't care about you interacting with other people. Yeah, yeah. But they also, I think right? people have different understandings as to how to achieve that, right? Mm. The original true. YouTube, they thought that they had achieved that by making a super community-oriented social social type mm. site. That's true. That's true. Okay. And Google that. failed at video because they didn't get their social side at all and that's why they failed even though they had a technically better site. Ironically, yeah. And then they bought YouTube and then they made it like their old site. <laughs> you know, and which they, was anti-social. Which was a bit anti-social. They took all... And which they, is kind of stupid because that's what made YouTube YouTube in the first place. Well, that's why they bought it. Um, you know, I, it was a little bit... I felt for a while like they were killing the goose that laid the golden egg a little bit mm. the way that they kind of took out a lot of features around... Yeah, th things that they... That like. Even when they first, it was hugely controversial that they made it possible to turn off comments and stuff like that. You know, yeah. and stuff like that. That was like because that was like the whole thing. But that was it was those comments, and I used to know people who would say, you know, the well, that was, you could scare search. away the advertisers. Well, you could search for videos, but that but that's where a lot of us looked for those, right? Yeah. You could actually search for the most commented video of the day in those days. Yeah. And that's what you'd want to see. Yeah. And you'd go to those like, videos. But they, they knew that the most commented video of the day would scare advertisers, I think. And they mm. were trying to find ways to lift up the, 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 the clean content. The, 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 you it's know, the, hard the being Google. Content. It is hard. It's definitely hard to be there. But I, you know what? I, I think they tried a they went a little bit too far for a time. And for mm. different reasons. They mm. wanted to get everyone onto Google Plus and everything. Right. Yeah. They forced but everyone over. What I think has happened in the last two years is I've noticed uh, that they've come back with the content guys. They, mm. they emphasized for a while the... Um, uh, the next up and a, a small group of creators, but I think it's coming back up. And again. they've been doing that every year, I think. I've noticed the people around the, the Google people around the community, mm -hmm. they've actually supported this year's Hanami more than they've ever supported yes. any of the Han Hanamis before. Yeah. Um, and they're showing much more of an interest in broadly increasing and improving. The, I think the social thing is coming back. And I they really said they're, they're, good, they're holding parties now, occasionally, in certain cities. Yeah, the and fan fests and so on. They're actually, yeah. they are doing more to make it. I think they, they wanted to create this kind of uh, critical mass mm -hmm. of good content for advertisers to focus on that first. But I think now they're comfortable with that. I feel like they're coming back and they're rediscovering some of their social roots. I do feel like it's going back in a you, you might have a point. I mean, they are, you're right. They are trying harder when it comes to the community and, yeah. and give, giving away t-shirts and stuff. That's great. You like that. <laughs> and holding parties and they're having gatherings in Osaka. And t well, the and thing was in the old, and, and this is, no matter how social YouTube was as a site, as the DNA was, the events were almost always run by us. I mean, there was YouTube Live and stuff like that. But the original events were all, you know, unofficial. They were run by community people. Mm -hmm. Whereas right. now, YouTube now does these uh, fan fests and stuff yeah. like that, yeah. which are way bigger than anything we ever organized. Um, and they're hugely successful. And in a way, it's kind of, I think it shows that they're starting to get it again. Mm. The, the other yeah, thing right. that's happened in Japan is that YouTube was really a far second best to Nico, Nico Doga. Right. And now they're like, um, are they, are they're they caught up. They're they're caught up? They're, they're, now they're number one. And I think it's, YouTube's number one now. It is. Maybe, oh, I didn't even know that. So, and again, this is the last two years, but I that's, that's amazing because Nico, Nico just, just, oh, just eclipsed YouTube back in the away. day, like three or four years ago. Yeah. 
But people I, didn't even know what YouTube was still. I think they Google's knew they knew Nico. figured out how to promote themselves in Japan in the real mm. world, which they they always kind of just took, took for granted. Hey, we, you know, YouTube's the biggest site. They'll, they'll come eventually if we have the content on it. But I think they figured out they have to do some uh, guerrilla marketing and some. Uh, well, they're working. I mean, a lot stuff. of a lot of the YouTube stars now have crossed over. They're doing advertising all over Japan. Yeah. Hikakin, you see him on TV all the time now. There's a lot of yeah, a lot of TV crossover and, and that stuff. Megwood's wedding was on TV. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and. Uh, but I think Google's gotten smarter on that, you know. And so, so, so this is hmm. the thing. There are now people who are big multimedia whatever. So right. Uh, so so Dice Kid also. I saw him on a commercial. And how many channels have come up in the last year or two that I never heard of two years ago? That They're are huge. now three hundred thousand or more subscribers. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you know Venus Angelic? Uh, no, no. Who, she on? was on the. So did you see? Oh, so you haven't seen, of course. There was this video the other day uh, about uh, this mukbang um, videos. You know mukbang videos. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've asked me to do a video response. I don't know what they were. Who asked you? Google asked you. Mukbang. Mukbang. No, they, e they Twittered me and they emailed me privately. And they said, sorry, sorry you... Mukbang is a Korean word for a style of video, which oh. is of eating videos on camera. Oh, okay. They, someone asked me to do a video response to... So, Fine Brothers. Uh, yeah, fine, yeah, to do a... Oh, fine uh, Brothers asked you to do it? I guess. I, Who I asked don't. you? I don't remember, but I was asked. <laughs> I was asked by some YouTuber to do a video response. All to the people ask him to do all this cool stuff, and he no, doesn't I, even know who they are. And I and I was just too busy. So fine with the baby, yeah, the baby, yeah. Fine brothers. Um, well, it looks like what, a I remember. Video. I remember thinking, what is mukbang? I don't know what mukbang is. That's the whole idea, though. <laughs> so you know how they have those children react to yeah, J-pop yeah. or children react to whatever right. American kids react to this crazy. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Now they have YouTubers react. They get the most yeah, yeah, famous yeah. YouTubers yeah. in the world, yeah. and they did a one reacting to Koreans eating video, food on video. Right, 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 right. Big, yeah, that, big, I guess that's big. what that was. Yeah, <laughs> I did not know what it was. And so on that video, they had like top American mm -hmm. sort of channels. Who were the American channels? But they had some top worldwide YouTubers, and then they had Sasaki Asahi, Megwin, mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, and they had all of these top Japan YouTubers mixed in with subtitles. That's the only reason I knew it was something legitimate because I didn't know because I, I saw Megwin did one. Yeah. But they had Venus Angelic on that, and I've never heard of her before. But she's clearly an uh, you know she was in the YouTube space recording. Oh. And uh, you know you can see the studio. Right. And. and Venus so Angelica, she sounds really familiar. I looked her up, and she, she, she's, I've never heard of her, and she's got 750,000 subscribers. She's a, she's a uh, I think she's Latin. Uh, oh, really? Latina. Whatever, but she lives in Japan. And uh, we got to, we have to speak Spanish in these videos now. Yeah. I'm more Mexican and Latino American. Yeah. They're watching YouTube now. Yeah, that's right. That's where the we money is. We have to is. change. We have to, yeah. We have to change. I've been, I have been told to start making. We have to change. But it's been a long time since I speak Spanish. My Spanish is going to hell too, so. Yeah. But apparently there's a big now market now, and J vloggers who speak Spanish too, huge now. Yeah. Big thing. So, that's strange. It, so it's, I think there's more room for more people. The, the, the long tail everyone's been talking about mm. and waiting for has definitely come arrived, and, mm. and, and, and there's more space on the niche ends as well for people who make. But a lot of niche videos. Yeah. Well, that's and, and that's what this whole mukbang thing was as well. But but that thing was a great example of. Um, Top YouTubers in Japan and that Japanese you had, that YouTubers. You had no getting, idea existed. Well, one that I didn't know existed, and two, the the ones I knew existed, uh -huh. getting like more global attention. Right. There was that. What was that video with uh, with they had bilingual on yeah. as well, the dancing. Thing. Yeah, that was a, that was a great video. The she rewind, can really rewind. dance. The rewind. Yeah, she was a great. She's a great dancer. And they did another one of this Korean food food stuff where I can't believe they invited you on that and you didn't go on that. Yeah, this is like this was like huge. I, I they kept you totally they emailed out, me two or three times and I was like oh, I don't know who you guys are or what this is about so. Screw it. Oh man, you should watch them. It's a good video. Really? Megwin was awesome. He, he was, Megwin was great. Really? Yeah, I, I, it's gonna be, I hope Megwin gets a lot of American subscribers. That's a shame. It. All right. <laughs> I'll check it out. Um, this is like, yeah, top, top global stuff. So yeah, it was cool. But I don't know. It's like, I, I, so I, I well, see. Well, that's, you know what happens is I get yes. things like that and half the time, uh, the, the mail, I just think it's some kind of network wanting to sign me up. And, oh yeah. You know, that's also changed something completely oh, game changing. Channel we, networks. We're gonna have to do a whole video on just that. Because say no, no just say no but networks, to channel networks. They might things. be able to help some people, but you know, yeah. we'll have to do a whole video on that. Because yeah. I don't think it's such a clear cut Screw yes or no. Those guys. Like, they, they, their contracts are terrible, you know, and, and they, they ruined your life pretty much for a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they made stuff. And when, when I finally left them, my, my, they left my channel in shambles. I had to go back and monetize all the videos by it hand. sounds like a really bad marriage. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they cleaned up my apartment. <laughs> it's like they, so they, they threw all your clothes out the window pretty much off the veranda. It's pretty much, I mean, they, they, they really do leave you broken and but don't, don't do it. I'm, I, I can't judge, I can only tell you my experience was negative, but I'm, apparently some people are still getting a lot of, out of it because the people are still, you know, there's quite a few people who are happy with them. So well, good, good on the people. I think it depends on what you're doing though. But so the, other, the other thing which amazes me, um, yeah, the speed that, that good channels come up now, 
is amazing. Oh, you mean how quick they, quickly how they, quick grow. they grow? Oh, yeah. So you remember, I remember. Renetto, 8,000 yeah. subscribers, huge in, back in the day. That was huge. When I started YouTubing, Tokyo Kuni, 10, when he got 10,000 subscribers, mm. Oh my God! Oh, Eric Surf Six too. Oh my God! Big ten thousand subscribers. I can't imagine having ten thousand subscribers yeah. if I ever have ten thousand subscribers. Now it's like nothing. No, everyone's got. If you don't, if you don't have a hundred, well, uh, frankly, nowadays the the standard is million. Oh yeah. No, you're right. No, you're right. It is a million right. though. A hundred is nothing actually these days. Yeah. And in Japan, they always say, how many million plus are there in Japan? There's only still maybe five or six. Uh -huh. But in the day, ten thousand was the five or six. You know. Um, what does Hikakin have? Or no, he's way over a million. He's like five million or something. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So, so Jackson in Tokyo. I met at a YouTube party last year, mm -hmm. and uh, Rachel introduced me. And said, this is great. She, she has eight, like eight hundred subs. Oh, right? she's she, she's lovely. And I'm like, hey, hey. And, you know, and I didn't really know who she is. I've never seen her videos. Like, you know, but she, you know, nice to meet you, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I kind of saw her come up again through the guy in the book, right. and and, and right, I thought, right. cool. I looked at her channel. She's got three hundred thousand subscribers now. She does. I'm pretty sure she has three hundred thousand subscribers. Texan. Am I wrong? Am I getting people mixed up? Uh, Rachel has over 300. Rachel has, but I'm pretty sure. It's really? Yeah. I had no idea. Well, congratulations. Jesus, that's great. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> this is, I don't like even look at that months, number anymore. In six months. Yeah. Well, they, they don't even let you see that number anymore. Well, you can hide it if you want, yeah. Well, but you know what I mean? It's like if once you've subscribed to them, you can't see it, even yourself. I mean, oh, you can see yourself, but you, you go to the channel you, you subscribe to. You, you have to go to the channel. Yeah, but you have to dig for it. Yeah. It's there. I think in the old days, the way they had the social gamification, you know what I mean? The whole thing about my ranking and my uh, score and everything. You like that? It was a motivating thing. Yeah, no, I liked it. It was fun. Let's be honest. Even if we didn't like it, it motivated us, right? Yeah, that's true. You know, but I think it's a and little it's bit... All, but it was frustrating. Like, oh, how does he have more subscribers than me? His but, videos but suck. That's what motivated <laughs> us in the old days. And we don't have that now. There were people like that. And people are motivated by money, but I've never, I've never done it really for money. No, I mean, I'm it not motivates so, different people. Of course, yeah, extents. everyone's differently motivated. But it's gone to the point where I've heard rumors that some YouTubers will actually charge other YouTubers just to appear in their videos. That's pretty lame. But yeah, I can imagine... But I mean, if it's there, if, you're, why if you're trying to make a living, you know, if, if you that's got your it, main source of income. If you, you got know. it, shake it. But I've been offered a hundred bucks just to shout out a channel. Yeah, but I haven't done it because I feel like that's weird. It's, it's, it's kind of prostitution. It's, it's I'm doing nothing wrong, nothing against prostitution. Nothing but, wrong with the prostitution. But I got to enjoy what I'm doing. That's true. You have to be a happy hooker. Right. Exactly. So yeah, if I, so if I paid you a hundred dollars, you know, you you. I just, shout out your stuff all the time. You yeah, owe me. You just take it and shout me out anyway, and you know. Exactly. Hey, that guy's the thing is, I shout out channels that I like anyway. So. Well, that's right. So it'd yeah. be kind of weird for me to just. Actually, I already shouted him out, but he's going to give me a hundred dollars if I do it again. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I, what does motivate us nowadays? What motivates? I mean, these channels that got they grow so it's, fast. The well, comments still motivate me. Yuta, I mean, Yuta is going to be the next hundred thousand guy, you know. Yeah. And you're a hundred thousand, so you know. I'm a hundred thousand. I'm a hundred and one channel. I'm not changing. <laughs> But what motivates? It's slow, but it slows down. Well, no, the comments, the comments, and the, the co comments and the ratings. Still, I still look at that and say, "Oh, I'm I'm happy." This yeah. com this video got a lot of thumbs up, you yeah. know. Yeah. And uh, honestly, when I put in a lot of work into a video and I don't get a bunch of thumbs up, I feel like, "What happened?" You know. Yeah. Because that because you know that happens. That you put a lot of work in a video. And oh, that's the rule. That's or I put a video of my baby saying hello in my head. You know? that, <laughs> and then it gets 500 thumbs up. So. That's the rule of YouTube, though, isn't Things it? Things they don't, yeah, exactly. It's like a rule. Things you don't care about, thumbs up. They put it in the algorithm. They can detect how much you care about the video <laughs> when you upload it. It could be. And they <laughs> actually have an inverse, I think it might be broken. Maybe, maybe it's broken. But the more you care about the performance of a video, the worse it does. And the less you yeah, care, I'm just checking now, yep. the more viral it, it completely becomes. Yeah, if you don't care about it, it's, it's going to go It'll viral for sure. It'll be your best sure. video. <laughs> I mean, Maldi's best video is still the toothpick one, right? Yeah. <laughs> so something he just he just shot it. He just went I'm around. Sorry, I'm sorry, Molly. I don't mean to laugh. I mean I just think that's just such a funny thing that. Uh, yeah, I doubt he even he edited. Made, Did he edit that video? I think it's just. Molly makes such great videos, and he's such a great guy. He's made so many awesome videos, and that was a that was a great video, the first one. But it's just such a great example of ever, me doing the same thing. I, I've made videos that I thought this is my opus. This is my right, exactly masterpiece, and no one's watched it. <laughs> and, and these random that 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 how I learned uh, Japanese. Yeah. My biggest video was a total off the cuff. Hey, this isn't scale. I'm just gonna do this quick thing and I'm going back to my videos, and that's my biggest video ever. So that's the key. That's the hint. That's just what you need. Take, take that out of this video. Don't do care. Not care. Don't care. Do not care. If you do not care, you will succeed. You, you will go to the top. Oh. Uh, and how about that on an, on, a, on an ending note? Stop trying. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. The, the, the I can see you. You're trying to. You almost stopped. You stopped caring. <laughs> I, I, you don't I, even put on shoes anymore. I, 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 <laughs> shoes, I see. This video is going to go totally viral because I'm not wearing. I, I, don't, I don't care. 
So uh, yeah. Anyway, no, I think YouTube's right. I, th I I feel like it's coming back. I feel like the social thing's coming back. It's mm. always getting better. It's always getting the technology. And, and there's always more better. people to meet. The community is continuing to grow. It's a healthy mm. community. Mm. And uh, yeah, that's true. There's always more people coming into it. Yeah. Some people leave. And I still think this is. I mean, everyone knew, but even back in 2000s, when you first put your video on YouTube, did mm -hmm. you think this is the future? People are gonna. This is gonna take over TV. Did you think that when you started? No, really? no, you didn't. TV, no, but I do now for sure. Yeah, yeah. So actually, two or three years ago, I think I thought about yeah. two years ago. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know what? You know what? I thought that back in two thousand five. Well, I, I read that the the uh, advertising market on television is like fifty billion dollars. Yeah, and that if YouTube could get even one percent of that, yeah, that's five billion dollars. Yeah, that's a lot of money. So and of course that's going to get that. But, but they, yeah. Well, but they, yeah, they they they're, they're getting there. But as a user, I don't know if that number is correct, though. But you have to say it like that. Who knows? And I'm not. I'm not a. But still, if, if you get one percent of the TV market and advertising, there, yeah, okay. there's the incentive. I look at it the other way around. In 2005, mm -hmm. when I could watch The Daily Show, mm -hmm. I live in Japan. I've never lived in America, and when when I don't say it so proudly. Yeah, I <laughs> never lived. I've never, <laughs> never lived there. Don't care. No social security number. Yeah, it's like it's something to be proud of. So yeah, you know, I uh, the fact that I could watch. Well, a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Well, I grew up a TV addict. Mm. Oh, okay. I would watch probably eight hours of TV a day as a kid. Really? And in New you Zealand, you sound rather intelligent too. <laughs> That's <laughs> ironic. I, I no, I wonder where you would be if you hadn't watched TV and read books instead. Jeez, oh, who knows? I, I, you Bill know, Gates, watch out, man. Yeah, but <laughs> parts of my brain are just paralyzed now. <laughs> but and, and, I, and I watch in the eighties uh, nothing but American TV. But you can shows. sing. You can sing all the theme songs. Well, the world don't move to just the beat of just one drum because what <laughs> might be right for you might not be oh right no, for you. No, no, I'm sorry. I opened up that. He's a of man of <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I could do. I could sing every '80s like sitcom theme. So really? That's how, you know, yeah. Um, that that that's how I grew up. And I uh, and so you uh, assume, well, your brain is different then. It's why. So different. when you saw YouTube for the first time, yeah, you you saw the potential there. Well, not that I didn't because. But not just that. I, I was handicapped by reading books. <laughs> the thing was, I loved TV so much, and I'd watch TV so much that I, your whole life routine was organized around it. what time you eat mm -hmm. dinner, what time you go home, what time you finish school, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you know, I grew up with a generation. I think you know, we're, yeah, we're, no, we're yeah. TV yeah. dictated yeah. when we go home from work or when we do something. Yeah, you know, we we organized our gotta lives. Got to get TV. home in time for the show. Right? Yeah. Before recording with devices, yeah. And so, for sure. and, and I was also aware, moving from Singapore, Australia, New Zealand all the time, uh -huh. about different cha countries having more channels. Are there only two channels in New Zealand? What? There were only two channels when Jesus. I was in Jesus. So that explains a lot of your sheep problem, too. But yeah, okay. yeah. So they, they have five channels in Australia. Uh -huh. You know, and it was like, all oh, channels. And then, you know, and, and they'd have shows in Australia. Five they, channels? So nothing. Now, yeah. And they, they you know, and, but they would have more, more, more shows, and they'd have shows that you couldn't watch in New Zealand. So I was, it was like, you know, getting, it was like the secret key. We have to go in a minute. Yeah. But um, yeah, and so the idea, the fact that on YouTube I could watch content mm. in countries that, or channels that I couldn't access, you could watch there, oh. that, that it's, the fact that they could put these things up. That is, that is a pretty, um, um, pretty cool thing. And the fact that I could watch it whenever I wanted, yeah. at my leisure, and I could interact with the audience and share yeah. comments about, laugh about it, even right. if I'm by myself. Fight about it. Fight about <laughs> it, say, you know, fake and whatever, and you know, you can yeah. do all that stuff. Um, as a, as a viewer, as a, as, a, as a consumer, forget about the advertising for a mm -hmm. minute because, frankly, the whole advertising and commercial model, it's the same with the music industry. Mm -hmm. It just re holds back. It retards in the, the verb of the sense. It retards the whole growth Creativity, process. yeah, in a way. Yeah. Not, not the creativity, that. but I think just as, an, as a medium, there's no question. No, I think it retards creativity, too, because it, it, it forces people into pockets of, of how they can make money. Of course. Uh, you're right. Sorry, you're right. In terms of TV content, yeah. that's right. If, you, if no one got paid for anything, you may, we'd be always trying new shit. Mm -hmm. Let's do something new. As soon as YouTube Let's came take off our me, shoes. Yeah. As soon as YouTube came on, I, I realized instantly this is how all TV is going to be consumed, and it's going to be up to TV to figure out how to become YouTube, mm. actually. Mm. Um, and the same with the music industry. When Napster came out, the music industry, sooner or later, is going to have to figure out how to stream music how and react, make it available yeah. on the internet and not and fight have. it. And they, they took them 20 years of fighting against it and suing and putting a lot of kids in jail and doing all sorts of stuff and ruining people's lives trying to right. stop it, trying to mm. change it. So but the thing people, is, yeah. because it's more convenient for the people who use it, at the end of the day, they they got it. They, they, they've had to give up, and it's the same with YouTube. YouTube's that as well. And, and, and the great thing is, is that because we, when you got a force like Google behind it, mm. dragging everyone in, yeah, I you know, it's start. I feel like it, that's starting to happen now. That's yeah. a good point. Think about that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I right away, I just kind of thought, YouTube has. To, I mean, TV has to become YouTube. Yeah. And you know that's why you have these smart TVs now that have YouTube built into t the, yeah. all these TVs that they're yeah, selling. Yeah, that's true. T the Do they have those in the states? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, when those first came out, a, a fact, in fact, you couldn't, they wouldn't advertise them on TV because TV companies were, were, they were, they were scared. Yes. They wouldn't even advertise those TVs. Yeah, yeah. No, that's right. That's, that's amazing. Right. Yeah. Uh, now you can see them now. But you know, it's like fighting against the printing press or something, yeah. isn't it? When you think about it, it's so luddite. I'm going to write everything that's right. by hand. All that, all I'm the, not going to type anything. All the scribes who will be out of work because of the printing press. Well, yeah. You know, we will we will boycott any book that's printed. But that's literally that's literally exactly what it is. So I don't. Know, I, I I am absolutely convinced that I think YouTube has gone up and down and tried to find its feet about how to go forward and figure out how to. Fulfill its destiny, which is to take over, frankly, to be the model for taking over how we consume visual media. Well, yeah, with, well, like, like you said, with these machines, forget it. Why well, would anybody go on TV when you can go on YouTube? They're always ahead of the curve with this technology. Yeah. And, and I think it's going to, you know, technology is never going to be a problem. I think there is still the space open for someone to figure out how to come and totally take the, the, the carpet out from underneath them still. Uh, in terms of... Well, another YouTube? I think another YouTube could happen. I don't think it's going to be like from a startup because mm. YouTube's got such a base right. load of capacity. No startup can come with the storage or the speed or the technological capability or whatever that YouTube has. But if if the media companies mm -hmm. decide they really want to screw YouTube, and they will, they could get together and create a duplicate of YouTube, mm. and they, they they could do it. But it and would it be really be hard to do. Full of no vloggers. It would just, it would just or a few, or a few. It'd be content. Or and everyone would watch it. Or but, they would but get, they don't, but they don't want to do it. You yeah. know, and, they and, get professional vloggers. But I think this is where Google. Oprah Winfrey doing her vlog there with no comments. <laughs> but Google's been smart. I think Google sees that threat, mm. and that's why they've just tried to make themselves so far ahead in the. And arms they're bringing race. they're bringing them in, in already. Jimmy and Kimmel's got his own, you know, right. YouTube. But yeah, everyone's got YouTube channels uploaded. And that's why I'm on YouTube. That's yeah. why all of these other startups are say, "Come and put a video on my side as well." And honestly, I can ten years from now. Go but Google, I think, is treating it like an arms race. They're building up such a lead uh -huh. that even if even if a, a well back person comes in to try to take them down, I think they've got such a lead that you know they're just going to be. I think they're going to survive. Um, uh, even a big player trying to trying to come in and, and replace what they do, mm. but at the same time, Google they do have to be careful. They they can't alienate viewers. They got to be really careful well, about that. I don't know if you know this, but when YouTube first went started getting partners, yeah, that year a lot there was another I guess another startup or something. But YouTube paid the original twenty or so vloggers to yeah. stay on YouTube. And they know. paid. They paid them like I think twenty five, thirty thousand dollars a year so just to like, make videos. Was this like the start of the partner? Program? It was like Renetta. Yeah, Renetta was there. Zipster. Those. Those. So those. that was like the origin of the partner. The, yeah, the, the, they were the origin. Yeah. And you know what? Probably because it was probably, probably when Google took over. When Vimeo came on mm. and people started going to over to Vimeo and Vimeo had quality a good. Of the community. Quality is really good. And the quality there was very good. And I think it, they started to realize. It's still very good. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> and people were always saying. I mean, South Park. The South Park YouTube episode was always making this thing about um, all the money that Google's making off other people's videos. And sooner or later, they're going to have to get paid for them. You know, the the the, the shocked squirrel videos and right, all that right. sort of thing. The the you know, Star Wars kid and stuff like that. Right. Remember that? Yeah, of course, stuff? of course. Yeah. And now it's such a given the that they Chris, do that. Chris that they Crocker was on there. Chris Crocker, <laughs> yeah, back in the, the day. The, the the panda shock <laughs> surprise panda. Yeah. Yeah, but um, that was a great episode. Now it's taken for granted. But yeah, that I and mean, Google kind of needed to share the revenue in those days to survive. And mm. they were they were kind and of. And they hoping. did. Yeah, they paid. I don't remember exactly how much it was. It was twenty or thirty thousand dollars. Mm. Per, but, per person. But I, I feel, I'm happy. I don't feel any, any desire to go anywhere for now. I really wish that they would get the Nico Nico Doga comment interface or that they would do something I like that. to that. I really Personally. like that. And that's why Nico is so good. It still is so good. Mm. Even though you have to pay to put videos on there, which is crazy to me. But you know, yeah, the, the fact yeah. You I'm on there, but I'm a, I'm a partner channel, so yeah. I don't have to pay. But you don't have to pay anything? No. Uh, but to upload, you know, a certain quality video or a certain length video. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard people, you have to pay. You have and, to be a yeah, and, and to prioritize uh, streaming, you have to pay. Five hundred. It's only what, five bucks a month or something. Yeah. yeah. But it's amazing on that model, which is so different. That yeah. They require creators to pay to be on the site, and it was still the biggest site in Japan for yeah. so long. Yeah. But maybe yeah. that'll change things. Well, I'm glad actually that Google's beaten them now. That we don't have to be like that. We don't have to pay to put our content up. But at the same time, I also... I, I, they I must be feeling, they're definitely feeling the pressure because they've improved the, the deals that we have with them. So, And that might be I as a result of losing video. share to YouTube, I don't know. Well, I mean, oh, you mean with Nico Doga? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't know how, long, how much I'm, but, uh, I'm allowed to say about it, so I that's all I'll say. But Yeah, yeah. So, um, overall, YouTube is... Uh, kicking ass, up, still kicking ass. Down, kicking ass. And still. they're building these studios all over the world. YouTube space, that's there's, right. There's one in New York, there's one in LA, there's one here. There must be one in Melbourne, I, I, I think assume. there's one in Australia somewhere. Australia yeah. somewhere. In the middle of the desert somewhere, probably kangaroos. But they're great. They're great spaces. They're really helping. They're helping the, the creators yep. create more content. Yep. Lending you cameras and all this stuff. Uh, some stuff like this. 
So yeah. Check it out. That's we can take you, these home. You want, you, you, you want the big one? Yeah, I'll, I'll take the red one. Yeah. Actually, I like the red one. Yeah. Falling apart in that one. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that one. <laughs> So anyway, that's the state of the tubes. We're way over time, but it doesn't matter because uh, we're rocking. Good to see you. Yeah, back good to in see Tokyo. you. Not often we I'm hungry. Get to want to go get a hamburger? I, actually, I, I have to. I have to. Oh, I have you have to go. go? Uh, All right. But, I'm alone uh, again. Alone again. But uh, yeah, so see you again in a few months. Yeah. And, uh, Six months. That is the state of YouTube. See you again soon. Peace out. Peace, boom. I gotta, I gotta pee like a racehorse. Can, think I can get that done?